Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we discovered that there were missing people in Tartarus. We also got to hang out with uh, some of our, uh, some of the people in our dorm a bit more when we got a tour. But yeah, we're sort of getting more acclimated to Tatsumi Port Island as we go along. In this episode, uh, we could go ahead and hang out with Hiraga because we joined the art club last time. But, uh, what's the persona that goes with that? Art club, fortune. We do not have a fortune persona on us. So who else is there? Tomachika or Miyamoto? So I believe we do have... Yes, we do have a magician on us, so let's hang out with Tomachika. Just when I finally made up my mind to work hard for a brighter future, something's gotta drag me down. Will you hear me out? That actually is kinda relatable. <sighs> oh, Yuki. Got a sec, I need to talk to you. Thanks for making some time for me. I appreciate it, man. Not really in the mood for wild for ramen today, so let's head to Wild Duck. I can't eat. Best option to say here is what happened. You sure you want to know? I don't think we're gonna get to eat together like this anymore. To be honest, something's been on my mind. I saw a magazine in Emiri's room. Guess what it was called. Best option to say here is bride to be. How'd you guess? Man, you're amazing. When I saw that magazine, it got me thinking. And I've made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emmy. You think that's a good plan? Best option to say here is congrats. Thanks, dude. I'm seriously in love with Emmy, and I'm gonna marry her. Then, Emiri Kano will be known as Emiri Tomochika, and I will make her the happiest wife ever. <laughs> Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? Tomochika seems dead set on this plan. I feel like our relationship is stronger. We should get going. I wonder how many more times I'll get to walk home with you like this. There's a very real chance that Tomochika is the first social link that we finish, and that would kind of suck. <laughs> Seems no one wants to hang out with us today, so might as well... Oh, actually, Fuka wants to read. So, hmm, how much money do we have? 36 yen, that's not a lot. Let's see. While we can't slack on our exploration of Tartarus, if we want to solve its mysteries, it's important to rest and take time for yourself as well. Free to go out or spend time with the others in the dorm, just don't stay up too late. Yo. No matter the battle, a proper balance is key to winning. Not just power, mental strength, agility, and some luck too. It's not easy to train up each aspect, but if you keep experiencing what life what life has to offer, you'll get the training you'll get the training along the way. Keep thinking about how Kirijo dragged Fuka into this. Jesus Christ, it's been like a week! Come on! But Fuka seems really determined to do her best, so I guess that there's no point in dwelling on it. Instead, I'll just focus on doing my best too. Okay, finally, this plot point is over. It's genuinely all she has talked about for like forever now. <laughs> anyway, since we have no money, I'm gonna sell some stuff to Kurosawa. Alright, so now we have 6,000 yen, so that covers us being. That covers me being a bit irresponsible with my money. But come on, it's so close, I can feel it. Okay, now that's crowded. So, so I guess we're going out singing. I don't think this will level us up, but we're getting close. Oh. Good morning, Yuki-kun. Um, it's a beautiful day, is it not? How are you faring today? Uh, why so formal? Sorry for being so awkward. I've never had the chance to chat with someone on the way to school, so I got nervous. But I think I'm getting used to life in the dorm. Plus, I'm pretty excited about everything we can do there. Let's tend to the plants up on the rooftop again soon. I wonder if that dialogue would have been there if we hadn't hung out and done the stuff up on the rooftop. Okay, so here's what I've been working towards and why I've been so hell-bent on courage. Fuka is now a social link that you can access. Which is great. However... Oh, Yuki-kun, are you on your way home? Uh, let's walk home together. Sorry. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I was about to do some research. I'm actually learning how to cook, but I'm still just experimenting. I don't think I can make anything edible at this point, so I don't want to waste your time. If I volunteer to help her, I might regret it. I don't have the courage to risk it. My courage needs would need to be badass first. It's very funny. We, In order to hang out with Fuka, who's the most, like, frail and kind and gentle girl in the whole world, you need to be badass. I wonder if Karijo Senpai is fluent in French. She is. It would be so cool if she is, with the way she looks and all. Just imagining it gives me goosebumps. Or as Karijo would say... <sighs> I like to imagine Mitsuru Superfan just butchers the pronunciation of this completely. Or as Karijo Senpai would say, La Chair de Pole. My friend said that this guy disappeared from a town nearby. He might be a victim of that revenge website. Oh, a revenge website, huh? Wait, what's that? Sounds super bad. Huh, so that's something new. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. We could hang out with Tomachika, Odagiri, Miyamoto, or Bebe. You know what, let's just hang out with Tomachika, get his thing out of the way, so... Dude, this isn't good! Uh, I, I... Thanks. Thanks. Let's go somewhere, we can talk in private. Hey, man. Sorry to make you come here. I, uh... Ugh, damn it. The best option to say here is, are you in trouble? Yeah, I, I... Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emiri and me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Best option to say here is, you two should talk it out. Yeah, man, that's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. It's like, all of a sudden, she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. Tomochiko opened up to me about his troubles. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Only two more ranks to go with him. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. Sup, dude? Sorry, dude, I'm running to the store real quick. So yeah, Junpei's out, can't go to Tartarus, not like I was going to go anyway. No one else is here that wants to hang out, so... Come on. Courage level 6. Level up. Level up. Level up. Please? Oh, come on! Guess we're not hanging out with Fuka today, either. By the way, you know Mitsuru Kurijo, the student council president? I heard she's gonna study abroad after high school, probably to prepare herself to run the Kurijo group in the future. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. It's like she lives in a different world from us plebs. But you're staying in the dorm, right? Why would a rich girl want to live in a dump like that? Hmm. Maybe her family made her to understand how us ordinary folks live or something? Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows, but I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Chan, shake. <laughs> oh, we did it! What a smart dog. Oh, welcome back. Hey there. Can I pet him? Sure. Go on, Koro Chan. You know how to say hi, right? His name's Koromaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, 
until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he... What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry, more importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Korochan. Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, <laughs> right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? <sighs> the puzzle pieces are falling into place one by one. Those large shadows that only appear on the full moon. I wonder what their purpose is. Eight more remain. We have a long road ahead of us. So yeah, eight more shadows left. Even if we only uh, fight one every full moon, then we only have eight months left until we've uh, completely gotten rid of all of those shadows. So that's neato. Hmm. Everything about Tartarus is such a mystery. How long has it been there? Why did it appear in the first place? Do you think we'll ever know the answers? I'm sure we'll eventually learn everything. Um, can I help you? I ran an estimate on the strength of the remaining large shadows that appear during full moons, and as you can probably guess, we're going to be in for a long, hard fight, but I think we can handle it. I'm sure we'll be fine as long as you keep training and growing stronger in Tartarus, so let's both do our best. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about something right now. If you're looking for someone else to talk to, please l find someone else. Mm. So it seems that uh, Mitsuru has some sort of connection to the origins of Tartarus, which is super suspicious. The real question is, do shadows act independently, or do they, or are they working together towards some goal? In essence, does a group of shadows target a single human and ravage his mind with purpose? 
Or is every, each individual's shadow simply devouring human minds for their own survival? This is what we must... This is what we must discern. All right, I think this should push us over the edge for uh, courage level ups. Yes, finally, we've maxed out a social stat. We've gotten courage to level six, which is badass. That means next time Fuka's available, we could go ahead and hang out with her. Could try hanging out with Chihiro. Sure, what the heck. I'm pretty sure... Alright, we ha we aren't able to level her up, so... Yeah. This is as good a time as any. What a relief. Whew, I'm so glad the illustration collection is still there, but... Um, I'm sorry for changing the topic, but I'm still worried about the missing money. Took me a second to get back into her voice. I hope it was just some kind of mistake. It's sad to think that there might be a thief at our school. Best option here is don't worry, it wasn't a thief. Yes. Of course, you're right. It couldn't be. As a member of the student council, I shouldn't make accusations like that. I should follow your example, Yuki-san. Jihiro seems impressed. I feel like we became a lot closer today. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to have to listen to my worries on your day off. Um, how about I treat you to something as a thank you? Just absolutely nothing from ever anyone. There's nobody here. I guess they're all up on the second floor. Looks like Kirito Senpai and Sonata Senpai aren't around, so let's go to Tartar some other time. I think I'll take it easy tonight, too. Hey. Koromaru's so cute. He's such a loyal dog. I wish we could take Koro-chan in and look after him here. Sonata-senpai would be in charge of walking him since he goes jogging quite often anyway. Yeah, I can totally see them running along a river together or something. But I kind of doubt that we'd be allowed to keep animals in the dorm. Goromaru is really one of a kind, huh? He really is. And such an obedient boy, too. He always seems to be at the shrine. I wonder if he's eating okay. Why don't we just keep him here? I feel like Kirijo senpai would say yes. I mean, doesn't she seem like the type to have a Doberman at home? And she feed, feed the highest quality filet mignon. Jinpei, I think you read too much manga. Funny that the second uh, that I finish up, like, focusing on one stat, you know, there's nobody here to hang out with. But I guess it is a good time to start focusing on uh, charm as well, because there is something coming up that's... There is another social link coming up real soon that does focus on charm, so we'll just casually go about it. Um, not focusing 100% on it, but, you know, just casually trying to level it up. Growing movement on the internet these days, I don't know what it's called, but it's one guy that, got, that gathers a lot of users around him. Not sure what he's up to or why, but he's just being overhyped. He's not just being overhyped, this guy definitely knows what he's doing. Maybe I should check him out sometime. Okay, can't go to Hagakure. So I guess we're gonna buy some stuff from Chagall. It's been a while since we've actually bought something from here and haven't worked here. But there's not really anything we else we could do to help raise up our charm stats. Hey, Yukikun, I've been thinking. The night before last, when we learned about the Twelve Shadows and their connection to Tartarus, isn't there just too much we don't understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's just something about it that bugs me. Yukari's just been a walking ball of anxiety lately. Oh, isn't it just... Oh gosh, C Cartesian coordinates really are beautiful, aren't they? There's one particular that's my favorite, though. Are you curious? You are, right? Right? This curve is a graph in a Cart Cartesian equation, one that was discovered by Italian mathematician Maria Agnesi. It's actually named after her. Some people call it the Curve of Agnesi. However, it's more commonly known by another name. Iorico, do you have any idea what it is? Huh? How would I know? Heck, are we even talking about math anymore? Psst, Makoto, do you know the answer? What else do people call this curve? They call it the Witch of Agnesi. That's correct! That's correct! I'm surprised you even knew that. As to why it's called a witch, nobody really knows. It apparently came from a mistranslation of the Italian word for Versine of a curve. Merely an inadvertent mistake, I suppose. I make careless mistakes fairly often as well, but it's pretty embarrassing when your mistake lasts for generations. I mean, if the shape of the curve resembled the, a witch, maybe they could have gotten away with it, but alas. Yeah, that's just common sense, Miss oh, M. 
<sighs> Thanks, Makoto. I was about to sound real stupid. Nice. So we're loving up charm a bit more. Uh, we won't ever have to sleep in class again because our turret because our courage is max rank max ranked. So that's why I think it's best to level that one up. Uh, have that be the one that you level up first if you're focusing on any. Right. Eight left, huh? You, well, you can count on me, dude. I'll defeat every one of them and save the city. Yuki-kun, it's still not clear to me. My head hurts from thinking about it. Oh, we could actually hang out with Fuka. Sweet. Also, you happen to be a little hungry. I have time. Oh, good. In that case, would you do me a favor? I was hoping you could taste the lunch I made. To be honest, I don't have very much confidence in my cooking, but today I think it turned out okay. I've got a bad feeling about this, but I have enough courage to try it. So, will you taste it? Alright. Oh, thank you. Okay, please come with me. Sorry, I know you probably aren't very hungry at this hour, but, um, I'd be happy if you'd maybe give it a taste, if that's okay. The bento box looks like a chaotic mess of ingredients. It seems to have no choice but to eat it. I used vinegar as a base for relieving fatigue, and then added a bunch of citrus. You know, just some simple, light flavors. Mm -hmm. It is a very impactful flavor. I want your honest opinion, okay? H how was it? Not bad for a beginner. Really? Please, let me know if there's anything I can improve on. Actually, you don't look so well, leader. Oh no, what do I do? Um, I'll go get some water. Wait right here. I'm sorry I made you taste test my cooking. I just figured that I could count on you for an honest opinion. Well... Thank you for your time today. I'm going to keep at it. I should focus on making it edible first, though. I feel like I've gotten a little closer to Fuka. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the High Priestess Arcana. Again, they couldn't fit in High Priestess, so they just wrote down Priestess. I'll see you back at the dorm. I decided to go back to the dorm, too. Dang, I've never had food so bad that it made me fall asleep. Oh hey, welcome back. Hey, did you hear? Something's up with the equipment in the command room. Yes, finally, another recording. Junpei's looked at it, but it seems like it's been breaking down a lot recently, doesn't it? I honestly have no clue what I was looking at. Yuki-kun, could you check it out later? After that horrifying experience with Fuka's food, let's go ahead and relax with some funny hijinks here at the dorm. It looks like Junpei's room. This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. It was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot. And the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. 
but I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah! Ah! Uh, well, this is how my room always looks? What? But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Huh. I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. <gasps> I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? The hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. Yeah, that was nice and fun. Also, Mitsuru said that she's the head of C's. In what way is, is she the head of C's? She's not the leader, because that's us. She wasn't the leader before, because I'm pretty sure that was Sonata. Ikutsuki is the one running this whole thing. And she's not even the navigator anymore, because that's Fuka, so... She's like third in command at best. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, maybe hang out with Fuka a bit more, because we just uh, ranked up her social link. We'll also get to hang out with some people downstairs, because, you know, we're finally past me gunning for Top of Courage. And maybe we'll just get to have a lot more fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!